Hey, what's up? It's Whippy Cake, and if you follow me long enough, you know that on Mondays, I love to do a little motivational clip, just because I think Mondays are the perfect day to refresh your perspective and to, I don't know, like refocus your progression. And so I like to share some tips on progressing, getting better, moving forward for the girl in progress. Scrolling, feel So today's topic is inspired from a question I got from one of you. And the question was, what do I do when I'm stuck in a rut or a slump or I just kind of feel blah about myself or about my life? Um, so I think this is an awesome question because I, I think this is common. This happens to everybody. We're in the same house all the time. We're wearing the same clothes, around the same people, maybe have the same routine. And it just kind of, it starts to feel redundant and I think as people, we're meant to be progressing and meant to be challenged, and when we're not, it makes us feel yucky about ourselves. So I'm gonna share my three tips. These are things that I personally do to get out of a rut like that. So tip number one, I love to read a self-help book. Um, my weakness is actually going to Netflix and just binge watching TV whenever I'm unhappy with something. I'm just like, I want a distraction, and I will just watch an entire series all at one time. Well, that is counterproductive. I don't learn anything. It doesn't make me a better person. I don't, I don't feel more productive, and so I end up feeling worse. So I found out that when I, instead of watching TV, read a self-help book, not only do I feel better because I'm rejecting a bad habit, I feel awesome because I'm reading something that's helping me, that's teaching me something, that's making me feel productive, that's inspiring me, that's getting the wheels in my head turning, and it just kind of creates this chain reaction, this positive chain reaction in my own mentality. The second thing that I always try to do is just try something new. If you're stuck in a rut, it's usually because you're doing the same things and you're expecting different results. So I recommend trying a new habit, um, going to a different place, even if it's just like going to eat at a place that you've never eaten at before, talking to new people, and now that we have the internet, hello, you can make new friends online and have online besties. Just like that, just from commenting on somebody that you admire, you, you can become lifelong friends. So go out and try something new. Like I said, if it's a new relationship, a new location, a new um, talent or skill, read a new book, something like that. My third tip is to be helpful. Um, it doesn't feel good when you're the needy person in the relationship and when you're like, my life is hard, solve all my problems for me. And when you get into that mentality, it becomes hard to break. And it doesn't, there's no sort of confident reward from feeling like that, from feeling like a victim and acting like a victim. On the contrary though, when you just look outside yourself and you realize it doesn't, you don't have to look very far to find somebody struggling, just from giving a smile, listening to people, helping somebody with a quick project, anything like that, you'll start to get some greater perspective on your life isn't the only life that's hard and appreciation for the challenges that you have because nobody wants to treat challenges with anybody else. And then of course you just have this momentum that from doing, from going out and doing and taking action and that creates greater productivity, greater confidence, greater motivation to go on and do other things. So I think that number three is my favorite. Just go out, be helpful, serve other people and I, I promise you, you'll have a huge change in, in your attitude and your day just from doing that. All right, so my recap is when you feel like you're in a slump, do these three things. One, read a self-help book. Two, try something new. Go out and be adventurous. Take risks. And three, be helpful. Stop, stop thinking about yourself. Stop making it about you. Go and make it about somebody else. Anyways, I hope this video is helpful. I hope it motivates you to face this week. And don't forget to subscribe to see more videos from me later.